just bouncing our head to the songs in the studio. Earlier on, you just heard that extra cool from Young uh, John, right? Young John, yeah, Young John. And now we're playing Jackie's. Um, what was she saying in that part of the song? Like, I'm hearing different things. Some people said, I'm going to miss you, no. Some people said, Jack, I miss you, no. Some people say, like, I think we need to just go back, back to the <laughs> <This is an laughs> and, and find out exactly what she was saying there. But anyway, that was Jackie's song. Um, and that brings us to a conversation this morning on how, listen, sometimes just imagine this on the stage, massive crowd, DJ jamming, hype man on stage. And look, all the phones are out, lights out. And that is the ambience and the atmosphere these hype men get when they jump on stage and they turn the party before maybe sometimes the main artist comes on stage or even no artist. That's with the DJs. They understand this job to the core, to the last dot. But we want to understand how it feels like to be in their shoes for a second. And this morning, we are honored to have the man Influence and the man Sheldon join us live in the studio. Later on, I think um, um, Manuel will also join us in the studio as well. But gentlemen, welcome to the studio. Welcome to our lifestyle. Welcome to the place. How do you find the place? I keep asking this question because we like to flex the place. <laughs> Well, Jay, what's good, man? Boy, didn't die. What's good, what's good? <laughs> Boy, didn't die. Boy, didn't no, die. No, but your studio, your studio is dope. It's yeah. dope, it's dope, it's dope. I like, I like the vibe. I like uh -huh. the whole, the aesthetics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aesthetics. Can more, yeah. right? Influence. Yeah, hey. Energy. How about you, man? The place is lit. Yeah. Three music is lit. I can't even lie. So I intentionally asked them this question because I wanted to hear the terms they'll be using. You understand? <laughs> it's lit. It's dope. <laughs> That's what they, that's how it gets crazy on the stage when well, they have in, to you in, know in that phrase case, three music is active then. Yeah. <laughs> three music is active then. Yeah. Anyways, yo guys, so one more time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Charlie, um, I don't even know before we even okay, let's first understand the job you do. Who, let me understand who a hype man is. Then we'll come to a few memories and then we'll come to today and get inside the conversation proper. I don't know how I know there's no dictionary meaning to this. I don't even want a dictionary. Yeah. I want I want a Jameson meaning to this. Uh -huh. yeah, and I, and I want a, okay. I want a Ciroc meaning to this. Hey. <laughs> yeah, Ciroc is good. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm a Diageo boy. Ah, uh, uh, quick plug in, quick plug in. Plug okay, in, you know, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> We'll talk, right. we'll talk the endorsements. We'll talk the endorsements real Let quick. And we'll talk the mixtures in the Red Cup when they're on stage as well. Um, mm. I'm, I'm duly informed that Manuel is also uh, joining us right about now. And right. another non-sleep guy. Like, these guys don't know how to sleep. In fact, they're like... But they are, you see the 37 bats, right? Flying about in the, in, the, in the night and in the daytime. <laughs> they are fast gone. Anyway, um, Manuel, welcome to the studio as well, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah. All right, it's all good. It's all good. I, anyway, yeah. I was just asking uh, you guys, in your own understanding of the job you do, who would you say a hype man is? The let me start with man. you, Sheldon. The hype man. Uh, well, let me see. Just the person to set a tone, to set the mood right, to make sure everybody that came out is there to have a good time, to make sure they are ready for whoever is coming up next, uh, uh -huh. whoever is coming up next. You know, they're always ready, keeping the energy 100% throughout the whole show, basically. That's a Jameson expression of a hype man. <laughs> the active expression of a hype man, yeah. yeah. That, that person, that sets the tone. I, I'm, I'm going to allow my not to breathe for a second before I come yeah, to him. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but, 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 influence, yeah. tell me. Um, a hype man. What would I say a hype man? Yeah. So, a hype man is one of the very most important parts of a party. Mm. And mm. I would say that because sometimes, you know, there's like, ever since I started doing this thing, I, I noticed that sometimes it's not just, sometimes, you know, the DJ is really good, you know, he can do it by himself. But when does the hype man, like, when does the hype man, he's, yeah. he's coordinating how you're doing everything. Uh -huh. Like, you'll see Sheldon on the stage uh -huh. and he's <laughs> saying something, maybe like, you know how... This pressure is getting worse. I came ah. about. And then the music stops for like two seconds. And he's like, the pressure is getting and everyone's screaming. It's just, yeah. it's just that the, the hype man just gives you that energy. That energy. To keep going. And yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it in like textbook so yeah. terms. So but that's a Ciroc. That's a Ciroc expression. <laughs> that's, that's, how to, that's how to define who a hype man is when you mention Ciroc. That's how to define it when you get active with men's children. Yeah. I don't know. Where, where should I talk to The way we're saying yeah. Jameson on here, yeah, yeah, I, I'm going to send him an invoice right after this. I'm going to send him an invoice right after this. Uh, uh, 
Manuel, yeah. which one should I tag you under? I mean, which which of the alcohol brands mm-hmm. should I tag you under? Mm-hmm. I don't even I don't even know what you know alcohol what I, is. No, this guy. He takes some. <laughs> he takes some, take some techno money. Be some time back. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do I get from you? <laughs> Lego, Lego City. Oh no, that they are feel. He absolutely. almost said he doesn't drink. He almost he was about to say. He <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what. I, I don't know what alcohol is. <laughs> Apart from the one in the lab, I don't. I don't know. You know <laughs> he drinks. He just doesn't know what it is. That day, that day, you were. It was a techno activation at Lego City Mall. Um, it chess more. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, uh, the concert. So, yeah, 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 the concert. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes us to do. And then <laughs> as I see, see the bosses did that. He said, Nah, man is plugged with some, some, you know, some, yeah, some, yeah, some. Allow cash out. A cash out. Yeah, you cash out nice. Real quick. <laughs> how will you define? How will you define? You know, the job for hype man or who a hype man is? I would say he's the thermometer or the energy thermometer of the party. Hey. So if. If, as a hype man, if his energy is down, the whole party can be down. It can feel like it's a conference room. Right. And maybe the VC, they give some speech where people ball. <laughs> right. It can feel like that, yeah. And if the energy is up, up like, everybody will go up with it like that. So, if, if he's not there, and that's, and my main problem most of the time is that people feel like it's, it's an add-on. People think it's a bonus. Unless, <laughs> unless, unless you're doing a very formal event, mm-hmm. you need a hype man. Mm. Yeah, because mm. he's the one that's going to determine what kind of energy that's going to run through the event from the beginning to the end. Mm. Yeah. Ima- imagine a heartbroken hype man. Mm. You mm. understand. Mm. <laughs> no be small R and B. Charlie. The sheets and the and the this and the and the, yeah. the boss with boys you throw. <laughs> no, I'm no, 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 hype man. Yeah. No, no, you guys made the whole, Everybody is feeding I off of the energy. Us in no, the same no, studio at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hi, man, when you get a book, how you can this stage? You go feel insulted the girl. Ah. <laughs> the, first, the first girl, you look at which you don't look at that well. <laughs> well you start with an empty street. <laughs> <laughs> He's a DJ. Yeah. Drop me that West Life. <laughs> you see your man hype it. I oh, know, my right? God. Are you on that empty street alone? I know. Are you doing that yourself? <laughs> Come on, now, put your hand bad. up. Put your hand up if you're on the empty street today. Everybody be like, ah. <laughs> wait, okay, all right. Wait, wait. So how did you guys find yourself doing this business? How did it start oh. for you? Let me start with you, Sean. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, let me say this. Um, I'm a DJ. I'm not a hype man, so I don't really like being called a hype man. Okay. Charlie, Charlie, I'm a DJ. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's happening. Charlie, it's happening Charlie. again. Make it, make it for, all right. <laughs> but, all right. but, okay, so I was, I was doing my party, and my MC was late. Yeah. So, and I happened to have a very good DJ at that time. He was just a very good DJ back then, yeah. um, Viroski. Yeah. It's it's just, just back just, then. Yeah. yeah Indicating yeah, that just, right now, they forget Viroski. <laughs> 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 So yeah, I was like, I bet. Then let me just hold a mic and start doing something till my MC eventually shows up. What show was that? It was a party club forty five. Okay. Yeah, it was a party club forty five. Yeah. Now called uh, what's it called again? Oh, that's the, the, strip the strip club. The strip club is right. Um, S- lounge tunnel. tunnel something. Yeah, tunnel lounge and. Uh, S- Silver Ooh, Fox. Silver Fox. Yeah. Yes. Now it's called I'm Silver Fox. watching, so I can't talk about it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what that is. Right. <laughs> I know. Yeah, now it's called Silver Church. Fox. Yeah. Right, Christ the King. Christ the King, yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, I, I, I held yeah. the mic and then that's it. everybody was like, oh, yo, that's good. They were like, okay, then let's do it. Um, let's continue on the road. So we continue with um, doing it before Miss V gets on stage. Ah. And then that was it. Yeah. Just yeah. continue from there. Yeah. Interesting. What about you? Uh, I actually didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't know that. Um, for me, I was. It's a long story, but I'll make it as short as possible. Well, in, before you even talk, let me yeah. just put some hype on uh, Sheldon. So, you know, um, for those of you who might be wondering, you know that voice that comes in when you're dropping D Black featuring. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Stone Boy. Yeah, 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 Stone Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah in the beginning. Um, the person who says that, you know, everybody get it. What do you even say in that song? Uh, I don't remember. You but remember. I remember the turn up is here. <laughs> so, I remember the turn up is here. I hope they're the paying you on the YouTube channel. Yeah, you see, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you, know, yeah. you for go back. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the two plus two is in there. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no four in there. It's, it's a long time. If I was getting that, you know, that check, like, oh, I'll give you word for word right now. Right now, now right, right now, now, right now. now. But, yeah. but, but it keeps, you know, the thing you say, like, it's so strong in the song. So anytime the song the jam and yeah. that beginning no come, the song being complete. Yeah, I gotta say let big shouts to all the DJs, man. All the DJs let that me, played. Let, let a lot of them thought was my I, song I, too. I've told you. I, I, I told I told him this. Like <laughs> yeah, if we're at an event, right, and the song comes on and there's another hype man on the and, the, and they're talking, I'm like, yo, shut up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like 
There's already yeah, a hype man yeah, on this yeah, one. Yeah, on the allow. Song. Allow. Allow. Make it finish. <laughs> After that, you can't talk. I like that. We'll talk straight <laughs> to the trade. I like that. That's that's true. When yeah. when to talk, when or not to talk, how to yeah. let the crowd respond, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. this is gonna get very interesting. Yeah. So what's your story? So mine is I'm on campus. I have a roommate Which school? that's the um University of Ghana. Okay. Uh, I was at <laughs> I was at G. Nelson, right? And at the time the hall was relatively new. Mm. So I think the I'm guessing he was the first organizing secretary of the JCR. And he was an MC. He was organizing the Livers dinner. And you know, one of those people that want to do all their job. He wants to organize the dinner and MC <laughs> the, the dinner at the same time. So he did everything, honestly. Uh, wait, what's his name? Um Weezy. That, that's the name I remember him I for. I promise you. I thought you were gonna say Joe Boy. No, 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 okay, no, Weezy. Cool, cool, Weezy, cool, cool. he's a he's a fair, slim guy. We called him Weezy, so I can't, don't remember his yeah, actual yeah, like guy. yeah. We, we, we handle some business before. I think so I he was he was just about to like start the event. And that's when mm -hmm. his brain told him that, bro, you can't do you can't organize a thing yeah. and MC. Then he came to the room like, oh bro, Charlie said your English is not bad like that. <laughs> <laughs> and by that time, I did on some series, Charlie had the some. I said, Charlie, no free stress. But you see, I was, he was a year ahead of me, so I still gave him that kind of... You see, investing yeah. that in day, but I gave him that respect. Yeah. But the man went into my closet, ironed my whole outfit. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, that's when I, I felt like, bro, you must really be desperate <laughs> because you'd never do that. So I was like, okay, let me do this favor. I remember my legs were shaking the whole time it was a dinner. But at the end of the day, but it was like, oh, Charlie, you did well. Uh -huh. And then from that point on, whenever there's, a, there's an activity in the hall, Janelle Sonaka Hall, it was like... Oh, I'll, sometimes they don't even call me. Me now, I'll go for the mic. And then sometimes they'll be like, ah, where's Manuel? And I was like, oh, they, they, put it, they, they need me. Yeah. They need me. That's how, that's how it be. Talking about that, shouts to legends like Como Promo. Yo! Como. Commotion, hey. promotion. Hey. He's that's the this. hardest hype man in this world. Forever and ever. Yeah. Como the goes on stage to pick out a word for the artist, even when the artist is in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Commotion, promotion. Emotion, emotion. Emotion. Bring you so much sensation. Yes. Uh, there's, there's, there's two motions. Yeah. No, there's, I know. There's I some elevation too at the end of there's the There's elevation yeah. and some things. No, I only remember the commotion, promotion, oh, emotion those for the nation. Oh, it's, like, it's like a whole minute. Yeah, whole no, minute. I know there are other ones, but I've forgotten those other ones. <laughs> he goes. The, the kids have never heard it to them. No, no, no. Yeah. Look. Of even late, when the artist is on stage, so they call me. The artist of the oh, this is uh, award goes to this person. The winner is then Kumu gets up and goes. <laughs> and you know I'm here to pick up the, the award for <laughs> for Saka dear. Uh, maybe you can say even though he's in the building. That is no tell him. That is no tell him. Say he can award. That was team. He's in the back seat getting ready. So you know Kumu <laughs> promo. Hey, catch me at this place on this day. We can plug in an event right now. You know, I got to do it for Como right now. He's back in the system. He does yeah, Mondays yeah, yeah. and Wednesdays now. Yeah, 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 yeah Como is back in some, uh, He's doing some gentleman something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, gentleman's club. That's on Wednesdays. That's, okay. that's yeah. mood. Yeah, mood yeah. Wednesdays. And then on Mondays, Excel. he has like open Excel. skies. Yeah, so commotion promotion Komotion is back. Days. He's back in motion. Yeah. Yeah. Commotion, promotion. <laughs> well, I had to just cut into that like the legend too, you know, for us to acknowledge the legend like uh, Como. Okay. So, okay, so 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 you wiggle your way around. Yeah, so even for me, when I started off as a corporate MC, okay. now like there's that no distinction true. between, yeah, you are, you're a hype man. Someone wants to book me and they're like, oh, but they can't do party. And I'm like, I can't do it. But it's like, the people always have a perception of, Oh, you're a hype man. We see you jumping on stage. So, but that's how I started, mm -hmm. and that, that's why he was just talking about it because that's how, that's what I was through uh, a couple campus events, echo house parties, and then you had to like adapt to the system because there was a lot of parties and very less of ladies and gentlemen. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I just had to adapt and become a hype man, known as a hype man, but I still. Mm. MC like formal events and stuff. I like that. I mean, that's 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 true. And now I like the fact that there's been a very good distinction between you know um, what you guys do and the kinds of event that uh, really um, you know dis need your skills and expertise. Yeah. Yeah. And some people might think it's just a matter of jumping on the stage, but I know there's a lot of things that come through which we'll get to so, understanding. So yeah, <laughs> understanding it. Um, but influence. What about you? Um. <laughs> Long story, bro. <laughs> we did, we did, we, we did. Uh, so, but don't garnish it, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll try to summarize it in my head. So, I, I came. So, I was studying in China, right? And uh, COVID made me come home. And in China, most people don't know, but it's like a party house. 
Oh yeah? Yo, it's insane. Yeah, I've heard about that. It's insane. Yeah. And unfortunately for me, I got introduced to South Africans. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> we were out like every weekend. And I came here and then, you know, I noticed that the people are not as hype. And I didn't like it. I was like, why are you guys so like Even I'll... with what was available. Yeah, like then more... the Chinese really turn up. Hey. They go crazy. <laughs> I'm not even lying. <laughs> what? Like, they go crazy. They, they oh, I've, seen, I've, I've seen videos. Well, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, when you said Chinese, the last thing I thought about was party. Mm. <laughs> I thought he was coming to tell me how he started Tai Chi and then... This is the way they watch out. I'm like, what? <laughs> it, it, it's something that it doesn't come out, but it's very active. Nightlife is very active over there. Yeah. And when I came here, my friends will go out and then... Like, yeah, we'll drink a little bit, but, like, nobody's really hyped. Everyone's kind of, like, reserved. And I was Laid like, nah. back. Like, I don't even drink, but I'm, I'm in the party. And I remember the first week I came, I went to Luna Thursday. I went with my sister. And everyone's eyes was on me. I was just going wild. On the mic? I, I or, in the, I, like, independent, like, standing in like, the corner? Yeah. And then I just got too late. I went to take the mic. And I just started going crazy. And then everyone was just lit. Then they started looking for me. They couldn't find me. And then... I, I could feel that this is something I know how to do. Mm. So I started doing parties. And then at my parties, I MC my own thing. So it wasn't a thing of you call me and I come. If it's not my party, I'm not doing it. Okay. And then I started noticing, mm, I, I know the team That's do. That's the best way, man. That's hey, the best but, way. Yeah. yeah. I was like, no, I know the team do. I know the job do. Because I, I, I noticed how the vibe changes the moment I enter. Like, no alcohol involved. I'm just lit. And it's, it's it's very difficult for people. Like yeah. it's not that easy. Somebody in their thirties, yeah, they're like they are drinking and everything. But it's to get up. And, oh, and there's this. Why, why they throw the thirties guys? Like what? What? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm those Gen Z, bro. Those like, thirties guys. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, 24, no, no. man, fresh, you know. <laughs> fresh, look at me, nigga. Uh, so fresh, bro. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I go to these places and I see that, oh, they are sitting down, they are not really moving around. And then there's this young guy who comes around and he's like, eh, what, what, what's some of the stuff that I say? Um, eh. Sao pe sao sa. Inti un so rin sa. And then they are just going... Ah, uh, that the, loving it, yeah. yeah. And then I just get happy over their happiness, and then it's yeah. like I like that happy yeah. over their happiness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Nice. I mean, I can that's imagine nice. some stubborn crowds. I will share some stories. <laughs> ah, stubborn yeah. crowds, stubborn <laughs> crowds. You know, everybody sees stuff. Um, yeah. um, but but it's, it's it's you when you mentioned the Echo House. I mean, let's just touch on that real quickly. The impact yeah. of you know um, event houses like Echo House and all the other event houses that you know. Um, how much impact did, have you, or would, they, would you say that they have they made, given you guys opportunities to be able to, um, you know, have that interaction with the crowds? Because hmm. you guys have all, have you, have you all, have you also been on an Echo House platform? Yeah, 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 you, yeah. you guys have also. Echo House, Echo House, well, they've been amazing with this. Yeah, yeah they put. They put me on some of my favorite shows. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and Tidal Rave. Tidal Rave. That's, um, I, I, think, I think most of my logo. come up stories are going to be like Echo Party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. most of them. And, and it sort of like builds your character and like how you understand the job. Because the Echo Parties have a different kind of energy as well. Mm. So if you're not able to match it, yawa. But then <laughs> if you're able to match it, you can go anywhere. Yeah. That's I, the thing I with it. To say this, because people, they come Echo there. people are like they're on crack. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> no, because the Echo, like, Echo will do a party, right? Yeah. But then the core Echo members themselves. Yeah. They're like a pack. They're like other hype men. <laughs> the Echo members themselves are like hype men. So if you have to be you have to be over, over them. Yeah, yeah, you, you have to be prepared, yes. Yeah. I can imagine. Like, yeah, yeah you can over them because they say yeah. they hype past you within the day. day. Yeah. Crazy. Like, but like you know, they say, but why did they stand there like that? Ah. You the hype man, then they ask you, MC, you did it. Why did they stand there like that? Can I take you back to remembering some, you know, like, just, just to give me some, some nostalgic feeling. You OG. Know? Yeah. Oh, OG. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, Jay, so, see, Jay Foley, Jay Foley, Jay Foley was doing, um, um, let's give shouts to the legends, commotion, promotion. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't do Jay Foley one shout yeah. We don't do yeah, yeah, so uh, the yeah. guy, so you know, the, mine was okay. Maybe so we, we go to a pool party, you know, because that was at that time a lot of pool parties. The first side pool party, like, but you gone. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's the, the 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 dean or something that's for the pool party uh, culture. 
the let's not get going. Is it Agovex yeah. right now? You go on. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I'm just I'm just saying this to introduce a conversation. So mm. um a trick to the trade for me was when I get to the party, the first thing I'm looking out for, I know people are bored, the girls don't want to get in the pool. Mm. You know, I don't know why girls are wearing bikini and then they stand. Oh, they wore bikinis? Sometimes oh. they're wearing jeans, jeans, bro. <laughs> jeans, like jeans. Yeah, are you, yeah. Are you one of them? <laughs> like, who does that? You come to a pool party and then you you are, you are fully dressed, had everything tied, locked, and they come and you don't want to come join the party. So I, what I used to do was that I would look out for the weakest link, the weakest okay. female link, or the girl who maybe had some extreme, you know, vivacious something, some body oh. or something that could. These pull are like the dangerous. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> 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 and, then, <laughs> and then try and use her to get people active. But that was just yeah. my strategy. I don't know about you guys. What What do you do when you get on the stage just trying to get people into the What does it take they, Yeah, what does it take to... to to oh, activate. I think, to I think it differs. Activate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I forgot to say this when you asked for the uh, um, definition of hype man. Uh -huh. uh, I think uh, the hype man is a bridge. Okay. Between the people at the party and the people at uh, the DJ. Yeah. Who's yeah. working at the party. Everybody else that's working at the party. The bartenders, the waiters. Mm -hmm. The hype man is the bridge between the... Is it the audience? Yeah. Or the crowd? And, and then, then the, the party. people that are working. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then basically the yeah. party. Yeah. So how me, I guess, started is... I just go around make... Kind of like greeting everybody. Okay. Like, hello, hello. Yeah, are you ready? Like, you came out, you dressed up, you're smelling good. Do uh, you have a drink yet? How are people's reactions to some of these things? Because I know some Ghanaians are very timid and uh, very... Now also crowd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so the, the potential for someone to, should I say, crown you? I don't know what the new term is. Yeah. It's very high, hey, so you have to bro, keep it hey, going. You're such an OG. <laughs> <laughs> the way you talk, the crown. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crown. Crown. I tried to run through, and I tried to run through. You, I don't you, know you, why. You, 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 you say Davex. Like, like, if they have to snub you. No. 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 You see? see you're so Gen Z. No, if you have to say it in Gen Z language. No, it's not the same thing. It's Yawa. Yeah, yeah. Before they go do your, yeah. before they, uh -huh. before they go do your, oh, yeah. I said crown on three years. Yeah, yeah. Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Yeah. by this time. Yeah. So listen, listen. by Check this it time, out. keep it moving. <laughs> you, you know, keep it moving. Yeah, once you see that, oh no, this is not vibing with it. No, 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 you keep it moving. There are more people you could, you know, activate at the party. So yeah, quick, quick, quick. Yo, are you, hey, pa, we move, pa, we move. Keep the energy going like that. Eventually, you can come back. Circle friend. round, come back. Maybe mm. by now they've had two or three shots. Oh, now you're in the mood. Okay, mm. can we go? Mm. Yeah. So, mm. That's how I get started. Somebody, yeah. I almost knocked some girl. <laughs> oh, oh, Charlie. I did that with... Give me some eye. I said, oh, I like, don't do that. Like, <laughs> like, in as much as we are trying to, like, get you... Like, sometimes we go out of our way. We're, I'm a very shy person sometimes. It's not that easy for me to, like, walk job. up to people. You know, like, <laughs> but Can you know, imagine? in that space, okay, I'm very shy. Coast Guard is like, I can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. very shy. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Like, oh, I'm a, I'm a big yeah. introvert. See, yeah, yeah, yeah you won't see him anywhere if he's not working. If I'm not, you not see me. You never see me enter a club and I don't have the mic and I'm just dead. Never. No, you, you didn't even go there in the first place. Yeah. yeah. So that I don't even like clubs. First of all, so. Me being in that space, I want to say something. I really want to oh, say something. No, but you <laughs> like it, please. <laughs> <laughs> you like it, don't worry. <laughs> go on, go on. Don't mind now. So, yeah, that day it was it was it was that was one of the days where I was like, ah, me self, why are they worrying myself? Like I do parties. That's my thing. I'm not really really into this hype man thing. Okay. Maybe it's just because yeah, like they're, they're you can't shake you. Yeah, it's just because you can't do parties every single day, mm -hmm. you know. For good therapy. Yeah, so <laughs> it's just like, oh, I'm I have free time, so I might as well do it. Yeah. I was just trying to, and she was like, you know, I was like, chill out, bro. Like, mm, mm. it's not that deep. I get you. Like, so what, what strategies do you deploy when you get to that place? Yeah. You know, um, oh. to to kickstart your party or to keep the party going. I mean, he he said that he he likes to first. You know, identify them, go around, just try and get everybody's energy. You yeah. know, by the time he circles around, they'd have, they'd have, they would have had like, like two shots. Two shots, shots yeah. they were good. <laughs> and they are, they are getting yeah. there. Yeah. Well, it depends the time I get to the party. If I get to the party, like, for example, like Garage, those people 
just like he said, echo, they are on crack. <laughs> <laughs> they, they will jam whether you are well, there or quote not. Quote, unquote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, what he said. Yeah. So, influence calls garage fans. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I get there, like, let's say I start the party. If I start the party, I just kind of take it slow. I just, you know, talk through the people, like, how are you doing? Is, if this is your first glass, you know, try and get another one. So as it's going, the music is changing. I work with the DJ, as he said. The mm. DJ obviously won't start with boom, 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 boom. It starts off slow. And then, but if I get into the party and then it's already lit, I have to establish that I'm here. Mm. Mm. So that everybody is aware that, okay, now he's about to coordinate. See the way that they do that? <laughs> now maybe that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I have to so let I'm, the I'm DJ, I'm like, DJ, then I'm like, I say some of that stuff. Like, view you need a very crazy album until we're going crazy. Then everybody shouts. Then now they are like, oh, now dear. Now there's a shepherd. Now yeah. dear. Yeah. Yeah. Kojo Manuel, from back. <laughs> <laughs> the music goes stop. Then he go tell you, say, are you? <laughs> now, now, now you go feel, say, hey, we the come, come. Now we come jam. Even though we're already jamming. Right so now we the that's, the, yeah. that's the shall we begin yeah. in it? Shall we, shall we begin? Ah. No, no, shall no, we begin? No, I mean, all three of you have shared your journeys, right? But at which point on these journeys did you realize that this is what I actually want what to do? Girl. This is yeah. what makes me happy. This is what gives me my high. Um, tanks and bikinis. <laughs> mm, yeah. Tanks and bikinis. Yeah. It's just a little come up. Quick one. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot it, let's go. Yeah. Thanks yeah. It, it, that that's my party. Um, no, no now you have to explain to Jay the whole process. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's go. Um, let's go. <laughs> tanks and bikinis is a beach party. And okay. It's it's on the beach. Uh, okay. We, we do it every. <laughs> I don't, I don't no, know. No, no, no. Honestly, I didn't back. Yeah, no, I didn't no. back because Haven, they do beach parties too. Yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah. Garage, they do beach parties yeah. too. Yeah. still confused okay. though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, makes sense. Yeah. You know, I have to, like, I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for the Bloom Bar beach party. It will so come that's on. what it is. I bet, I bet they come there not in the same uh, cloth, GTP so, cloth. Or, <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> imagine, case, right? Let's say we're doing cloth, like so we're doing cloth with our names written there. Yeah. Nicely. Like, you know how church, if they go church, all of us. I'm going to zip up right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. look very churchish. Yeah. <laughs> so when I came, when I came, because I came from like a whole different place. Like I came, I started doing beach parties. I love the beach. So I started doing beach parties, and then there was like 50, 70 people. And then, as you said, come and sleep and things. People, they take come to the party. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're not doing that here. I spent so much money to do this party. And like, what's the problem? So I started talking to them, and they were like, they are not confident in themselves. They don't feel like they want to come out looking Exposed, like that. Yeah. No. And I was like, there's nothing wrong with it. But I do understand. So we, me and the guys, DJs, it's run by DJs and MCs. We're like, let's change that narrative. Like, let's start getting people to feel comfortable in that stuff. So we did the first one, and we took it all the way to Kokrobiti. We had, like, 700 people come through. Hmm. Yeah. And then they were all, like, at least 50% were in bikinis, and then their tank tops. And during the party, those who weren't took their tops off, and, you know, everyone was, it was a beach party. And we're like, yo, we started something. Now, let's keep going. Mm. So we did this year, that was 2022. Mm -hmm. And then, aye, like, aye. Like, mad. <laughs> it wasn't even about the turnout. It was about them following the instructions. Mm. That was the whole point of the name. Because mm. what, what party is Tanks and Bikinis? The name doesn't even, but I just wanted people to understand that this is how we want you to come out. Mm. It's just a group of friends, and then we did this thing, and then about 2,000 people, at least 1,500 were in bikinis <laughs> and tank tops. <laughs> I can show you the videos, man. It's insane. <laughs> so I was just standing on the stage. Oh, yeah, me, yeah. I was on the stage. <laughs> I was just standing on the stage, and I was just looking at the people. And then I was saying uh, one of my lingos. And then everybody just, like, also followed. And I was like, hey. It's a turning point. I like it. Yeah, I, 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 I know we've, you've said a lot of crack-related stuff on the show. <laughs> <laughs> But when you're on stage and your your energy is at that level and the crowd is matching your energy, 
it's like you're on some sort of high. That's why sometimes when, when people ask about alcohol and stuff like that, I'm like, that's not really it. Because mm -hmm. if you're there and everybody's hyped, it's the better to have energy, 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 energy just by, you know, just running through everyone. On yeah. the back of that, I want to understand real quick before you, uh, Lenny, sorry, just before you share your stories um, on that breaking point. Yeah. Since you touched on that energy, I want to understand the synergy between the DJ and the hype man and who is the real party. Who's the real mm. controller of the party? The DJ who's switching the music <laughs> or the hype man who's, um, you know, how, how, how does it it's work? A, it's a, so, so your question, that for anybody that's listening that is interested in being a hype man or a DJ, the minute you actually think that, oh, you are the person making it, whether you're the DJ or the hype man, you've, you've lost, you've mm -hmm. lost already error mm. because it's teamwork. Because sometimes you, the hype man is the person that's gassing the DJ up to play as well as he's doing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the DJ's play is the reason why the hype man is hyped. Mm. Mm. So you have to coordinate. So it's not, it's not a one man show. And, and also another very integral part of being a hype man, like, I try to explain to people the difference between a hype man and an MC. An MC is coordinating the event, telling you, oh, this is what we're about to do. Season, coordinating the coordinating. event. Coordinating. So, <laughs> so you come, oh, so this is where the bathrooms are. Uh, uh, this event is brought to you by this. I'm, I'm not going to mention any brand, make it your free money. You know, stuff like that. A hype man is not really supposed to be there shouting, hey, three music. No, see? like shouting, no. Now, now them echo days make sense. You know see? See? <laughs> see? See? Learning grounds. So, <laughs> so don't expect the hype man to tell you where the washrooms are, right? Yeah, I mean, unless for a personal reason. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, half of the things he's going to say, you won't hear, yo, 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 so let me tell you, let me tell you, that the ladies go to the left, to the left, to the left, there's a window. Come on now. <laughs> no one has time for put that. Put your hands up, put your hands up. Yeah, somebody like, want to wash you like, to the left. It's not, because if I slow down, you're slowing down. Mm -hmm. So the whole point is that my energy has stay to, up. like, it has to stay up so you match my energy. And, and another thing that I feel everybody has sort of said it, but in a different way is, like, I don't know if, I don't think it's a Ghanaian crowd thing, but Ghanaians, we are extra with that thing. Like, we can all be in a room, we have like all six of and us. And not move. We will not move. They're, they're playing music, right? Yeah. And then everybody's just singing, aye, aye, like this. And then they stop the music. And then everybody realizes that, oh, we're all singing, aye, aye, and suddenly everybody's hyped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But when we were sitting there, everybody was singing that, that thing undertone. Okay. Everybody was singing undertone. But then when you get the people to realize that, oh, oh, so, oh, he's late. Oh, she's late. Yeah. Hey, yeah. then we are late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's not like feeding off each other's energy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you connect that energy? That, you have to start right. when Because you're supposed to lead them. So if you, your energy falters, people can actually tell. And and it's, 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 it's crazy it, uh, how they can tell is is yeah. like yo yeah how are you over there in, you yeah, see yeah, I'm yeah, tired yeah. and you see I'm not in yeah. the mood and wow yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so sometimes you put on a facade of like what kind of energy we are sometimes I'm in a very bad mood sometimes I become a vex heart broken yeah I they come I they play an empty street as I they come <laughs> but I reach there then they play yeah. some shake them. Something yeah, yeah, yeah. you understand, yeah. so now I have to act like there's a bit of acting in it because you have to act like you're having a good time. Look, let's let's, let's, let's give credit yeah, where credit is due. I, 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 I want to, this might be quite <laughs> sensitive for you guys, but yeah. who are you obviously having worked with all DJs? But in your line of work, who are some of the the no crazy trouble. DJs yeah. that you know <laughs> you connect with personally. I know it might be I hard to just first of all, first of all, if you ask this special on me, then shout in every problem. Oh, I'll, go there. I'll go there, but yeah, I want to say this. I want to say this real quick. A lot of DJs are lazy now. Oh, yeah, very, right. very now, lazy. Now it's a lot of very, very oh, lazy. lazy. Okay. Very, very lazy. Yeah. Why do you say so? Did okay, so we I've been playing concerts and parties and things for a while. I've heard a lot of let's say mixes and mashups and transitions and things also you're a dj also i'm a dj <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's stuff cooked from five years ago that i keep hearing most of the time now they, they, they barely coming up with their own stuff you know in 2023 give me some new mixes some new mashups some new okay after this one we're going to this one uh, no but right now we can predict from what five seven Six, seven years ago, what is the... Okay, so after this one, he will play this one. After this one, he will play this yeah. one. Oh, it's gotten that bad, right? It's yeah, and, and, and because we're all, always out and we're always playing, yeah. week in, week out, day in, day out. So it's like, I heard this thing last week. Last oh, week? I, bro, yeah, bro. yeah, and then an you hour, played bro. it. And then an hour ago, somebody literally played it. Yeah. So me sometimes, I vex. And when I vex, then it's like, 
oh, like, oh, you don't like me. And then people get emotional real quick. It's like, it's a job. The, the DJ feels like the hype man doesn't, <clears throat> you yeah. know. Um, yeah, it's, it's like... Um, but is it, is it wrong or bad? Because you guys, you guys know the fine details, but is it wrong or bad for the DJ to have a particular kind of um, switch very, out that he Oh, very, but not every very day. Very bad, very bad. <laughs> not every for day. For me, there's very bad. No, it's like, it's, wow. like, it's like starting, it's like hosting the show and every, every day when you come, you literally use the same like words back and to question like it's like the same, same clothes. Clothes. it's not like you are rephrasing anything you are mm -hmm. saying it the same, same clothes, way same the same setting. clothes the way you have your hand like this same thing every day so after the fourth day way. nobody will watch the show okay so what are some <laughs> of the the very normal frequent almost boring or predictive uh Mixes that you know, songs that you know that a, a DJ there. would. I mean, I've been mentioning no DJs. Go there. Right now, there's <laughs> last, last, my baby to Kulosa. <laughs> yeah. Same pattern. Same pattern. So, so the thing is, most of the time, it starts off like one very amazing, dope DJ does that mix. And everybody goes like, wow, that's nice. And then there's another DJ that's like, ooh, that's nice. And then tomorrow he will go and do it. Oh. And you even change a song. You won't change it at all. Like, oh, okay. So this guy makes these two songs. I've, I know this song also sounds like this one, and it's also good. So let me try mixing with this one too. Oh, let me give you one. Um, Coil Ray Players. Okay. And and to. But I catch you now. Premier Gao. Yeah. Bro, one <laughs> DJ did that mix on TikTok. On TikTok. And then every and everywhere. Yeah. Like they can't find any other Afro beat song to mix with. Uh, but I can't lie, it hits. I can't even lie. Bro, you see, you see, the and, 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 no, wait, and this is where the problem is. It's not like it doesn't hit. Yeah. It hits. But the thing is, now you do it January, February, all the way to December. December will be there. Mm. After national people know here. Now you pass, you enter New Year. You still do them. Yeah. The December again. Oh, you remember last year? We were doing this. And then you play yeah. it again. Now it's three years. Now it's, like, <laughs> it's four years. <laughs> You're still playing the same thing. Now it's like, chill out, bro. <laughs> yeah. So that's so where the acting I, comes in. Now yeah. we have to act like the mix they just did is brand new. Yeah, yeah. you're tired. You, you've heard it. You've now heard it over and over and over. Okay, again. I have a question. You're hyping for these shows, and most of these shows have performing artists as well, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And an artist too is coming to do a 10 minute set. <laughs> I know where this is going. They work <laughs> out, they rehearse over and over again just to do that 10 minutes. And you are on stage for hours, <laughs> right? How do you not die? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not why it was going. That's not why I thought it was going. Honestly, no, like no, seriously, yeah, think about it. Yeah, the yeah, other day, yeah. come to that conversation about the artist DJ um, playing my songs before I come perform. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. What he yeah that's what I thought. No, 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 that's what I'm doing. Because I'm thinking, okay, an artist will come off stage sweating. Interview, how were you? How was it? Yeah, you know, the fans were crazy, and it's like they just, <laughs> right? it's like they just go beat Azuma and Tyson. So, see, and then, honestly, and then, and then that meanwhile, was, Manuel stood there, stayed there, shout. It's all yes, funny to me. Right? Say, you know, I don't want to interviews anymore. It's right. funny to me. See. It's funny to me because I did the stage talk four hours before yeah. you come. And you did 10 minutes, and you know, yeah, you know how we do this, man. But when you left, I went back on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Like, it'd, it'd, be, it'd be really simple. The other day, is, mm -hmm. is they are not fit. There's really that is they are not fit. A lot of them that you said rehearsals. That's why I was waiting for you to finish. When you said yeah. most of them don't go they rehearsals. Don't do rehearsals. Mm -hmm. They don't do um um what's it breath control. Mm -hmm. N nothing. They just oh okay so you're playing the show. I'm a star. Okay, mm -hmm. jump on. <laughs> yeah. But after doing this, running on a stage, jumping on a stage, sometimes bellowing the songs, and after time. Oh, you, it's, but, it's like you're going to the gym every day. Yeah, and with what you said, you know, it's even like just a little side of it. Because could you go do two hours, then go another place. Oh, then <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you understand? But, but right now, Seba, slow down. Back then, we used to, um, me and Sheldon used to like meet at events and it was funny. We would we'd do an event that's sort of like a late afternoon, like fanfare type of event. Then you do it, then you finish, then you go to an actual, like maybe close like six, seven, and go and start a proper concert somewhere. Mm. And then there's another concert somewhere where then you don't feel bound the, pass, the, the, <laughs> the person. person yeah. So you, you pass can go, go past you and go do like some hour or two. By that time, you knock like 12, 31. It'd be nice to go to the club. <laughs> yeah, you back understand? when clubs used no used to run like around one a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. back then. But Casey oh, Sheldon, oh. right now the clubs have gone to four a.m. Four a.m. Yeah. I, I wouldn't know. I can't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know. Like, but yeah, back to that. Like, I was I was having the conversation with my friend the other day. I was telling him like, sometimes I get pissed off because you let's say there's an artist, you know, he has a hit song. The song is three minutes. He will come and perform the three minutes. Are you giving fifty thousand? 
I don't know whether oh, it's this matter. Minutes. You understand? And yeah. then influence. You can see that influence. <laughs> the, the magic we are do for Still I remember uh, Coca Cola when they brought the World Cup. Yeah. Echo. Polo. Hey, the thing I do for the. I was like, hey, that day I was like, hey. Oh. Like, we were, we were jamming to. There's Zamina, a, there's Mina, a key hey, trying hey, to say. I'm um, waka waka, hey, hey. Ah. At like 4 p.m. The first <laughs> person the convo. So, I was just saying, I was like, hey, but it be true. Then, I think some of the, the artists came on later. And then, I was just like, but it be the job. You don't, you see, you don't look into people's pockets like, hey, because they are giving this one, the time will come. Because, when I speak to the, the people who are ahead of me, they tell me that, yo, before they, they go give them free. like free and Exposure. things. Exposure. Today, <laughs> uh, they, they today ever, they, they, they pay. Ever, they ever tell you, say, oh, the gig, they go pay you with Joe, and then by the time yeah. you finish, then the show is finished. finished. <laughs> Some don't happen you before. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, somebody I, I tell I me, say, oh, if God you can't, we'll go, go sort yeah. you. Oh, no, that was campus. I'll never go forget. <laughs> if you can't, you'll go sort you. I'll never go forget. Someday, some some place like that, the guy is was also a club. And I was like, ah, you do your work. You are come, you are you want me to come on board, and then you are telling me, oh, we will give you drinks. Okay. I said, I don't drink, bro. I don't drink on the job. Mm. I don't drink on the job unless I'm coming with my friends to come and chill. Yeah. So I don't need it. It's like, oh, but you not say we will be cool. You know, we will do this thing every week. And mm -hmm. I said, ah. mm. yeah, this reminds me of every conversation I've had. <laughs> with so, so, so the, I mean, there's there's also another side to it, and I sort of Cut get up. why they do that sometimes. I mean, because for them, it's, uh, it's like, oh, who's pulling the crowd? Who has the most, you know, attention? Who, like, who's the reason why people are pulling up? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. Should I hold on? No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Sorry, I'm just having my own oh. conversation. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> my own hype, my own hype in my, in my head. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, that's what you're saying. So, so sometimes um, we're talking about, I mean, influence is talking about yeah. how people don't get, you know, properly paid. Uh, for, for what they do. And then sometimes people just base it on the fact that, okay, if this particular artist comes, uh, like this artist is the reason why people are pulling up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then there's always, there's, there's such, I feel like there's such a big gap. And this means being very objective. It's very huge. The gap is too big. For somebody that's going to be the face of an event for about six, seven hours, for the person that is going to stand there and coordinate the event throughout, there's too much of a gap between that person and your headline artist, like the, how much money you are paying them. Because I'm literally holding the event down throughout the whole system. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, we, we need to get to that point where I need to feel like I'm being valued because it's, it's a human thing. It's not a, oh, fight for the hype, man. No. It's a thing of yep. if I come and you pay me right, the energy I'll give you be so much. Bro, the people that pay me on time... Uh, right. What we agreed on, the way that we hype. Oh, is, 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 is it that you, you like people undervalue this job, yes, thinking oh, that yes, it's, yes. it's oh, but you are still having it's a pass, but they can't yeah, as, yeah. Add, as an add on, but yes, yeah. I can bet my whole oh, oh, life. Like, and I'm like, yo, yeah, you're chilling. We all we, we went to, we went to school, like, we easily yeah. could have a nine to five. I had a nine to five, I, five and I'm I decided to do this. I don't like you understand. We decided to do this because. At that level that we're all at, like we have that understanding, we understand the brands, we understand the things to say, we understand the positioning. So, for you to undervalue that is mm. you undervaluing your own event. Mm. Yep. Okay, hold on right there. Let's go to Kumasi now. Um, we have very much on bills on the line. Hey, hey. Big Woo! Big Woo! Big Woo! I was asked why he wasn't on it, but it was yeah. Big Woo! So, um, let's connect with him real quickly. Uh, yeah, we can get our headset on so we can he hear him loud and clear. Um, if you can unmute your mic, um, or if you can, if you just acknowledge if you can hear us as well. I wish you could just put them on the screen for a quick second. I just turn them up. Um, if you can hear. Your fan base is live here. Uh, see the serious face you put up, like... Like, it, it, it go right, watch <laughs> Or <laughs> oh, the camera froze on him. Uh, yeah. Big Woo, open your eyes. Hey, open your eyes. Yeah. I'm using you. Open your eyes. You can do it. Yeah. 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 Big Woo. You like, you know, they hear. You know, they hear. I hear. You know, they hear. Oh, Big Woo, smile small for me. You know, they hear we. Um, we they try have a connection. I, like, I think also because it's ringing, the connection is terrible. Yeah, but we're all going to be in Kumasi today, though. Mm. Yeah. Uh, What's happening? Uh, is, uh, I don't know. I'm still not sure. Okay, then hold on with that. <laughs> if you're not sure. That's, that's what I like about it. He knows, though. He said he's not sure. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know if it's a concert or it's oh, a party. More or less. Yeah. I'm not... Um, 
Well, um, sorry, uh, Charlie Sean Bills, if you can hear us, sorry, we're trying to get that connection established. You know, it's a rainy morning, you know, these things happen, but just pardon us on that. We'll just try and establish, uh, the, the, estab establish the conversation again. But let's yeah. really dig deeper into this money, this money issue, because, I mean, so, it, like I was saying, it's, it's like the role you're playing is not seen as an integral part of the job, the whole process. Yeah. Yeah, um, is it that also maybe the organizers might feel that, look, without either DJ Club and doing the job, you know, um, so... Yeah. No, I don't think that is it. Sometimes I also do put myself in their shoes. Like, sometimes it's the promoters, you know, like the promoter is telling you, okay, this is what he wants to do, and... I think all of us here have done our individual parties ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we know how it works. There's not that much revenue being generated. Mm -hmm. you know. But then when you talk about concerts, that is a huge different game. Put in. Yeah. Mm. That's a different game. Brands Ooh, are, are I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Because mm. uh -uh. even really? with the parties, they, I know people that are clocking, what, 500K at a small club party and things and all yeah, of that. That's and they're trying to yeah. still skim off the top and not pay the hype men and the DJs mm. nearly enough. So, so, I mean, so you're so, telling me to babysit people to buy 25 bottles of Ace of Spades. Yes. One bottle of Ace of Spades around with like 9K now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're trying to gas me to I get these people to the party, buy. Really. And, so, then that, and, and then the amount of money you're willing to pay is. It's not even up to a bottle. Have you guys. Fifth, maybe a fifth or less of even that. Have you, guys considered, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have have you guys considered, since you're so good at your jobs. Branding? Have, no, have you, yeah, that as well. But have you considered working with a commission structure to your earnings instead of getting a fee for your yeah. service so let's so, say like what you said saying mm -hmm. like okay so how many ace of, of space do you want to yeah, sell okay. today so we have 20 crates we want to sell at least five right you are the one the wizard quote unquote going to do the magic to hype the people to swipe those cards <laughs> yeah. right yeah. so okay cool i, I can that, deliver oh, on that this and that. You, i come and party you already do exactly exactly that's what they do no, but i mean whatever it is i also think that the businesses Mm -hmm. The clubs, right? We are seeing it as places of fun. Club, beach, yes. wherever. It looks like it's yes. a fun place. But in the back end, it's just a normal business. It's business. Mm -hmm. And it's that business, business person <laughs> will not get um, enticed enough to deal with you as a business to business unless you offer them business structure in return. Otherwise, he'll be dealing with you as a business to a vendor. Yeah, okay. You get it? That's why he wants to give you something to do service A, and then you can bounce, go do your thing. Yeah, exactly. But if you deal with him on a business-to-business -business level, then you can earn on multiple layers of, of, of it. Because so, I know the, so guy, let, who used let to me, me, let, the guy who used to shout in the music videos back then, uh, hip-hop, um, no, 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 DJ yeah. Khaled. No, 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 before Khaled started, uh, um, uh, he had a big so cup. Lil John, Lil John. John, Lil John. John, John, John. Lil John. Lil John used to make money off, uh, the, what, uh, what, which champagne did he use to pour oh, in his thing? Yeah. You used to make money off that, Think right? That so yeah. that's why you had that cup everywhere and it just pop up in the middle of the video and yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah. was money because yeah. he was yeah. dealing with them on because he, he was on his a label. So his yeah, label was, label was label. dealing on a business to business label. He made a ton of money without ever doing any real music. Mm. But he was in everybody's music video just to pour champagne and yeah. yeah. But he, he made more money yeah. sometimes than the people who were rapping on the lyrics. But, true, true, so, true story. You know, true. just you to see, put that out there. You see, you, like you just having the conversation with us, you've been able to figure out that these people have been working like, yeah, they've yeah. figured it out. But the moment you try, kind of people be from <laughs> will. The moment you try, I want to hear where the problem. So, so, so let me let, let me help you. Let me help you. So so it's like um, maybe you you let's, your jacket right. You have your jacket and maybe some sides here, and you go do them. And in your mind, like Charlie, maybe this thing goofy cost like one k for them to fix it. And you go there and the guy is like, oh, it's ten cities. I'm like, eh. Yeah. Oh, then every day, then I'll go and get all my friends to come and just patch, this. patch here. You understand? And and that's and that's that that be where the problem is. So then, when mm. at a point you meet somebody that knows their job and tells you that, oh, for me, I charge nine hundred cities. Oh no 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 no! I know somebody who they charge ten cities. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And, then, and then, I'm fine with that usually when they say that. Oh, yeah, please yeah, call yeah, 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 again. And then the thing is, they'll actually make this is where the problem is. Then it becomes an agenda to make sure that oh this guy they yeah. charge me ten cities. So out. for that reason, I'll make this guy big, and I'll mm -hmm. make sure that you, the guy that's charging your actual proper you know, price, no job, do you want money to Yeah. Work? So then it makes it, then you have to work extra. Are hard. you guys unionized? 
I don't know. That's, 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 that's the main, that's the main so problem. So you how do like you create a... a valuable brand for a hype man? How do, how should this be done? I mean, if you've okay, done this so, over the years. So what you were saying is true. It's a business. The problem we are all facing is because people don't like to address it as a business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The clubs, the parties, yeah. everything is, is is work. They are working. They are, it's a business it looks like fun, running. but it's not. Mm -hmm. But you yeah. see, hive men go on there and go and chat like, oh, so make I just pass through and then do something small. Yeah, tell they don't go and talk like it's business. Yeah. Some DJs, to, is, even if I'll say is in recent times, that now the DJs are kind of like waking up. I mean, I know I have my reasons as to why they are waking up, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> tell, tell, tell us, tell us. Oh, uh, the, now DJ, DJ, I think we are all upset. To DJ o. Yeah, oh. I think we are all upset yeah. because of the UK, USA DJs hey. that come here, and then the See, amount so, they charge, so, so and then how much it, it always, it paid, always takes it, people have just an external upset, so. thing. But this, this, this thing goes beyond even DJs. Is like in the music space and all of that. Yeah. We, we're, we're there, and then, yo, you know that let's say Equisiata will shut down an event easy, but then you pay. Ten times what you pay Kusiata for somebody that will perform for five minutes or probably don't for like half of the period that Kusiata is going to be on because the person from UK or from US. It's like we have that thing where we did, we have we put too much value on our outsiders. Because Sheldon and I cannot count the number of events where maybe like you we have other MCs on it. And the MC not from Ghana. And, and I'll say this any day, make anybody take camera if I want them. Or the DJ from outside. You don't see me, and they hype you. and they hype the person. The person comes and they start playing and then everybody's like, where What's they going? On? Like, they pay the money finish you. What I'm being paid is a tenth of what they are paying the person. Yeah. But then you have to still come and call me to save the party. Yeah. So when I save the party once, twice, three times, and you keep paying the person like that and paying me less, you it gets to a point where I'll start to feel like, no, you don't yeah. value me. Mm. Now, with this and one because is... there's no proper structure, that's the problem. There's no proper structure. So then people start to sabotage people, blackball people, mm. take people off events. And because yeah. that's how you eat, then people have to succumb. So me, I've gotten to that point where it's like, I feel like we need to make, like, take a stand. I don't know how we're going to do it, I but there's three of us here. I take stands all the time and people blame it on everything available. I yeah. take a stand mm. like, yo, if you're not trying to pay like this or move like this, I can't come. I can't leave my house, dress up, and come and stand at your business and help your business grow. Again, what should be the again, minimum let me throw charge? Back. Okay. okay, so just sorry, uh, I've been told that um, uh, Ebong is back on the line. Now. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> the way that guy Big Bill, left and right. Big Bill, um, let's. Anymore? Let's uh, we, we, it depend we, we, we on the day. Let's try and his feelings. Let's try and get him back on the line now and see if uh, we can quickly uh, get his insights into what he thinks about you know trying to create. Uh, a plan. Come on, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, your boys on the floor. for here. Don't be small. Bigu, what are you saying? Yeah, I mean, we the imagine the things they talk right now for the other side. We we are where he said they born twice. I didn't okay, you know. Say right now, something, something. I said, them will be my fans. Them will be your fans. fans. Yeah. 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 The next game. Ah, Tom Shutter. Ah, this guy. Oh, it's ah. Biggin. It's Biggin. It's Biggin. It's Biggin, it's biggin. It's biggin. It's biggin in Kumasi. Chale, um, we, we are, we are having a good conversation. You're going to be like, you get, you get all the songs. Okay, so you know we did have some very good conversation around, um, uh, you know how much uh, hi hype men are paid, putting value on the hype man. I want to find out from you as well what your take is on, you know, um, when you are being engaged and how you are engaged by event organizers, promoters, and all that, and how much they pay you. Is it is it an okay thing for you, or you feel that you know this is? Um, <laughs> something that Chale is it's, it's not good. It's not good for for how you are treated. If I can just break it down to to layman's understanding. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's say. Let, let me start. Uh, big, let me start first, 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 first of all, yeah. I think so. He's back. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, first of all, I think say, uh, my friends, uh, my colleagues, I've said a lot. But what I would like to add to one be say, you know, we are putting in a lot to to make people happy. And then we also need to be happy. But the money bit is just more of like um, the promoters or events, um, planners or agencies not getting to understand what we are bringing on the table. But rather seeing it because sometimes people 
um, they people put up a lot of events, organization, and they forget a hype man. And they later on try to think of, oh, shit, I don't even have a hype man or I don't even have an MC. So our job right now, like looking at other countries, is, is, is worth it over there. When I went to Nigeria, I saw women doing hype, and I was surprised. I saw about 500 hype men in Lagos alone. I was like, damn, bro, like, you didn't actually want her. Like, we too small. So, and I go to clubs, I see like two or three MCs in one club, and they're all paid. They're all doing the job correctly. So I'm like, I mean, this job is, is going, is paying off somewhere else, and they're adding value to these um, hype men. Yeah, we're going to add you Jerry Jaffa. We saw um, hype man Jerry Jaffa popped up with Shidi Balabal, and then toured around the world. You know, with that song, and now he's one of Lagos' finest hype men. But Sheldon dropped a song where Family G, that time, will be bound at that time. So, even considering someone like Sheldon's effort, bringing not just doing hype man, but also adding value in terms of doing collaborations like music with artists, that should tell you that. No, this guy is a whole artist on his own. So he's putting in some form of artistry on his his job. So people need to like pay for that effort or pay for what he's adding to his brand. So and now I, I to say you, now the debate is there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to ask you how how would a hype this. man be able to put value on himself without letting people think that um you know the job you are doing you are just having fun so I, but what how much are you deserve because it looks like you are enjoying what you are doing already how how can I create a valuable brand around myself as a hype man? Uh, first of all, is the way you carry yourself as a hype man. I mean, your personality has to speak for itself. The way your your appearance, your your social media, the type of content you're putting out, you know, because you have a fan, fan base already as a hype man. You need to work on your fan base. So the more you work on your fan base and fans, like, you're giving value to your fans. Your fans will be requesting, like, will be, what will be wanting to come to your programs, your events, your own organized. And the most important thing is try to organize your own event as a hype man. Because if you, as a hype man, you don't wait for a promoter to book you, and then you can organize your own festival. You can organize your own mini concert. You can organize your own club event, do your own club tours with brands. You are you literally, like, putting... Um, value to yourself. You are making yourself expensive because at the end of the day, you are dealing directly with the brands or you're dealing directly with the club owners. So now the kind of bread you share with the club on, owner is different from a promoter paying. So that is why as a hat man, you have to have your own events or your own concert or you have your own thing going on as a hat man. You have your own pot. Uh, something that you're doing that is bringing you money regardless that you're not waiting for someone you're doing your own music now we're doing dj mixes like we do my know they catch up for that side you know it is wrong and people are making money out of like dj mixes through collaboration and i was one of the first hype band to start dj collaborations in, in africa but at the end of the day maybe i didn't put the show in business at that time to see that oh can make, be making some money out of it because of SoundCloud and audio man. But now there is means of putting it on Apple Music, putting it on Spotify, that you can make money. So if I'm making my money, like a month, I'm making about $2,000 for mixes. Why do I have to worry about a promoter or an event organizer to book me? After all, I'm making money. I'm making brand. You know, so when I come, I'm coming to do my own event or I strike a deal with, with, a, with a club. And then I work with the club directly, not waiting for a promoter to to book me. Yeah. Let me hold you right there. Let me let me hold you right there. Let me hold you. We don't we don't have much time left. Um. So I have to put it on. But but bro, thank you so much. You've given us some insight into a conversation that we're about to have now. You know, on creating your own content and your own platforms and your own shows to make your money. And Charlie uh, Sean Bills, thank you so very much. I have to put on a hold here. I really appreciate your time uh, on here. But M. Um, so you didn't watch us, bro. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
He's talking to the money. Hey, I'm black. 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 I'm black
I don't mind taking a huge chunk of that money just to put to I'm buy a pay me, I'll bring my hair crazy price. outfit mm. just for you. <clears throat> yeah. But then if you don't want to, that's what I'm saying. That you, you, I need to feel like oh, you value me. Yeah. So if you pay me well, I'll go extra. Look extra fly for you. Do extra things. The event they go somewhere. Say, actually, you don't need me to go on stage to do something else. I go fit, you don't need, I go fit DJ yeah, for I'll, you. Say. I'll do <laughs> things for you. Exactly. But like, the thing is, if if you are doing that thing where oh, Charlie, our MC, the other, our other MC, we, we give him this thing. We will give you bottle. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not a somebody that's. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. First of all, the bottle conversation. Yep. I like to say this: that anybody <clears> that's ever promised me a bottle and I didn't mind you, have you seen me come into the party? Do I look like I need another bottle? Yeah. What? The, the amount. Oh, I, I, sh- I know. <laughs> I know, I, I, I know he has a lot of, I haven't been to his house, but I know we all have a lot. Of, yeah, see, I, I, in the line of work, people just appreciate you. Like, maybe I see you, hey, Joe, Jeff is in the building, da, 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 da. and they're like, give him two bottles, and they'll wow. bring it. Yeah. And I don't drink like that. I'll dash one and take one and go and put it there. Mm. So I have, I, I literally lost my phone at a point, <laughs> and I sold all, like, about half of the bottles I had to buy a new iPhone. Oh. Wow, that's how much bottles I had. Wow. So if you tell, if you ever tell me that, oh, oh I said we drink it. Yeah, right? come. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I'm going to pay you with a bottle or something. I I feel insulted. Mm. Okay, let me insult yeah. you guys. Oh. Uh, hey, about mm-hmm. serious saying. Yeah, no, I want I want you to insult. I want you to insult. The the future, yeah. 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 I, want to, I wanted to plug in before your future question because it was hinged on okay. Jay's question. I was saying that as much as we are so focused on the event and how amazing you are at the event. You also haven't spoken totally about what you take away from after the event. Mm-hmm. You all have massive followers, followers. Yeah. People trust you. You are an endorsement stamp on any event. Mm-hmm. One way to lock in these your clients and make sure that they value and they can actually give you the rider and everything is if you extend this hype to your non-event properties, mm-hmm. right? Your blogs, your TikToks, your Instagrams, and all mm-hmm. that. When you do that, then you give them something ch- tangible. Because from a business perspective, I know what the hype man does, but I don't understand how he does it. Mm-hmm. Do you get it? It's like a mechanic. Yeah, yeah. I leave my car there, mm. and I go do something, and I come, it's fixed. So I'll come and haggle with him that 200 is too much, because I yeah. don't understand what he did. But if you go to um, a showroom, they give you an invoice. We took your tires off, 10 CDs. We put your tires back, 100 CDs. Stop reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> You, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. So go, don't let the, don't expect the client to understand you. Yeah. You need to understand them and start from the perspective they will, they will like to listen that, to you. Yeah. 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 We're going to answer Lenny's question with regards to the future. That should yeah. be our wrap-up question. But how how much have you contributed to the non-play of Ghanaian music in the Echo? This is what I'm going to Nigerian promoters. How much have you contributed? This normally we are because not, you just gave examples of songs that and you mentioned Kolo side and I was quietly listening yeah, to you. Yeah, I was like, sad. so, so let me let me start off by saying that I I slept at three thirty a.m. Okay, because I was I knew I had to sleep early because of this. <laughs> but then for some reason I went to Instagram oh, I and I saw out. a conversation, right? Yeah. And then I couldn't like I was just itching like they were talking about how oh Ghanaian artists are not professional, uh, Ghanaians don't listen to Ghana Ghana music and, they don't, and it's the DJ's fault and the radio stations don't play it and I was like bro calm down, we we are in a, we are in a world where everything social media is a user generated system, mm-hmm. it's different from the era where the DJ DJ Black would come and you don't have option what he decides to play is what you are listening to but there are very few alternatives. Aside like radio and what the DJ is playing for you at the okay. club. I see now, Apple Music, Spotify, Audio Mac, blah, blah, blah. Music is just we there. decide. So how does your top 10 most listened to songs look like? When you do a reel on Instagram, what song do you, do you put for, the, for back? Mm-hmm. When you go to the club, what song do you request for? You do all of this and then you end up and say that the DJ did not play Ghana music. When the DJ plays Ghana music, you say he's whack. And the other DJ that came Sad to play Ama Piano and Nigerian music is the one you said that, oh, he killed it. You think that that DJ doesn't want to chop the next day? Chinese. You think that they want to, he wants to be, to be spoken about like, oh, he came and the people didn't like his play, so let's mm. not book him again. See, Jay, yeah. the, the, the Ghana music, So from what, the, music from what you're saying, my understanding is that the DJ is the supplier. When the DJ supplies Ghanaian music, it's a work experience. No. When the DJ supplies. No, 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 yes. no, 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 no. The no, energy, yeah, I, I, the energy, yeah. yes. no, the no, energy no. is not on I the same the level. No. If no, the same yeah. DJ, let me ask clearly. Yes. Uh-huh. If you went to an event yeah. and the same DJ mm. started playing Ghanaian music, 
back to back, back to back. It's been two hours. It's just Ghanaian music. And compared to if the DJ was dropping Niger hits, same caliber. Which events? Let's be honest. Which events so, would so, you so, so, You so can, you can give me your individual difference. ideas from so, the beach so, so they can to, be a to the club. Back to, right? back to me okay, saying so the DJs are lazy. Okay, okay, let's on yeah, let's bro, yeah. Whether wanna, the, the same, the okay, same, the same DJ, the same lazy DJ, bro, the same lazy DJ playing Nigerian mixes. And the same lazy DJ playing, playing Ghanaian, Ghanaian mixes at okay. your most turned up event, yeah. would there be a significant difference in the energy of that party? Mm. Yes. Which of the playlists would turn up your party and make <laughs> your <laughs> employer happy and call you back? It mm. really depends on the crowd. Mm -hmm. But in your experience, you've experienced well, it all. Which, if you had your way, if, if, the or if I had my way, yes. okay. So, huh, back to it. For, for time, maybe years even. I don't really hype when the DJ plays five Nigerian songs. I'll go quiet. I'll walk to the bar go and get a drink. Just go and talk to somebody. Reason. While really you are quiet, is the crowd jamming? Yeah, they have to keep bouncing and jamming and dancing and all. When he's ready to switch mm -hmm. and he come back to Ghana, give me like two. Don't just tease me with one. Give me two, three. I'll wake up for you again. So yours is an intentional. Like yeah, very it's a very intentional. Thing. Very yeah, intentional. Because yeah, intentional. the guys, it was it's getting it was getting ridiculous. First, you say you're playing a Nigerian hits. Right now. But now I have DJs digging in to go and find their mixtapes, their EPs, their albums, to go and find things in there. Mm -hmm. And then there'll be like six Ghanaian artists sitting in the club at the party there. And you haven't even played one of their actual hits. Mm. But you're there trying to show me how you go inside. Uh, so go dig inside for me. <laughs> so so me that's too, what, that's, that's the mindset. Too, I can't leave the that's, that's the mindset. Bro. Bro. The mindset is that. I can get some song. The yeah. DJ boy. You don't know that song. So I, I can't, can't wait out. to hear the right. answer on what Lenny asks. The future of this because this is this is getting scary. <laughs> is it possible that is it possible that the DJ doesn't feel? I'm just playing devil's advocate. I'm totally on your side. Is it possible that the DJ thinks the Ghana artist way they there and they see him body? Or he just doesn't even oh, have no. his music. No. no. Why doesn't he have his music? Lazy. The See, DJ didn't go look for it. Because Proper. they like, have this thing that DJs have been doing that the artists don't bring them the songs. Like Chris Brown sends you the songs when he drops it. You are not. Like right. Beyonce sends you the songs. Right. Like Ashley yeah, you you has go your number. He sends to you the songs. A lot of sites. Sometimes some of, some of these sites you pay. Yeah, to have access music. to that music. But why is it that you're on that on their case? I Granted, I get it that let's say if it's a it's a radio thing, you're supposed to bring clean music. That's different. Yeah. And also Even back that, to back to them the, cleaning uh, yeah, Ben Boy songs and yeah. things left and right. Ben Boy doesn't send you clean music. Back to back to this whole Ghana music and Niger music thing. So half the time, if the party is even going to be lit with Ghana music, that means it's old school. Yeah, why two K? No, when you, yes, say, that when you tell them to play say. Ghana music, they only have the old school music. They, they they'll play have, some Amachi they they but play some that is my my argument. Bro, Kwame and MP walked into the club and I told the DJ Charlie, Kwame and I just come in, play me some Kwame. I think God beg you. Yeah. He only has Riasu here. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing from 2022. Nothing from uh, 2021. You know, this but, is a big, you know, you talking. Yeah. You so, with, with my argument on that is, like, I do understand, okay, yes, they do tend to play Nigerian music more. But I'm, I'm standing there. I'm watching the people. Let's say it's even a Y2K crowd where people are there to listen to the Ghana music. Mm -hmm. Just as you said, they are playing old hits. The new Ghana music don't bang. I'm just being honest. They, and they I love King Promise. Not being played. I, I love King Promise so much because eh? King Promise album that he dropped, I I listen to it every day. Mm. Uh, Dope Nation. I say kick it to the left. Yo, that banger. That banger. is Ghana. Those that are, is that is Ghana screen. music. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, your brain. Bring about your brain. The, the, the don't bang you're saying is simply because you don't hear it as much as you should. That's Re the repetition. don't bang. That's what okay. makes that's it. It could be. It could be. But that is not my problem to deal with. The Nigerians are paying to make their music. I think the difference everywhere. is that the the your event, right? It's not where the conditioning to love a song needs to happen. The conditioning to love a type of song happens in the individual lives yes, of your crowd. Exactly. So people arrive to your event already conditioned that this is what they pop. And they're expecting the DJ and the hype man. So, to connect with that. So, 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 so it not be now you can't introduce banging GH hits to so, me. So, so real, when see, I come to have a good time. About, I want to uh, come and mess with whatever I know mm. is already hot. You, you see the user-generated thing that, I was talking about. Back then, okay. when we didn't have social media and all these platforms, yeah. you, can hold you don't go hear the song for anywhere. So the Unless DJ has DJ to choose. That power. Yeah. But now, you're on your phone the whole time. You already exactly. have songs you want to hear. 
And yeah. when the DJ but, doesn't play it, mm -hmm. it means the DJ is whack. No. But, but that's the general perception okay. of a lot of but people. But I do acknowledge the fact that, yes, we, we do play a role. Because there's this song that mm -hmm. iPhone DJ dropped. Um, BP. BP. Nobody to play I like the song, you know. But yeah, I mean, when, iPhone, when iPhone is in the crowd, I'm like, yo, iPhone is here. Take the song, play it. And when they play it, people are like, hey. And then it's up to me. There's a part in the song where it's like... Even uh, him, he wasn't playing his own song. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you know, that's a different conversation. <laughs> that's, a, that's a different conversation. But there's a part in the song where it's like, your body craze, your body size, make a nigga want BP. And that part, the way I, that I'll tell the DJ, because he doesn't know the song, I'm like... Pull it down. Them sing the so BP. when you pull it down, I'm like BP. So when it comes on again, and then I tell him pull it down. Now the crowd is like, they, you have to make have to something has to make them because yeah. most With of the that, songs you, you just see on TikTok. Song. Now next time they hear the song anywhere, they'll again. be like, hey okay. BP. So so so, 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 so let me tell you. So I dropped drop the song with Kelvin Boy waiting, right? Mm. Mm. And then Banga. Most of the time people would not even play, but if they if I pull up and they say, oh my knowledge is here, then now they play. And when they play it. Then I did the whole thing where I got to a point I felt like, oh, the song wasn't moving enough. So now if you play the song, I'll say, Shazam this song. I'll put it down. Shazam this song. Shazam yeah. this song. I did that thing for like two months. Shazam went crazy. And then now when they play it, now people are singing along. It's like, I get it. Like there's an effort. Wait till we did. Yeah, we did. Like, what Cyril said. Eh, but then uh, it's not my song. You see, I'm doing that for my song. Yeah, that's your song. Okay. They've come with, uh, what do you call so it? So you're coming to jam. This is your song. What Cyril said. They've come, yeah. they're coming to jam. It's not now you're coming to take your music lessons. No problem. No problem. But them songs that they have, they can play them at home. We have They play this in the car on their way to the function. They have all the same list. In the order that they want. You see, when you go to, when you say, hey Siri, play me Afrobeats, mm -hmm. the first 20 songs will be Nigerian. And yeah, it's they not pay for that. Fault. They pay for that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to establish that yeah, it's yeah, yeah. not one person's fault. It's everybody's fault. It's everybody. The artist who didn't pay for that is <laughs> so, inside. So, mm -hmm. the, the, the artist who didn't engage you that, yo, try let them know, say the song day out, um, blah, blah, blah. It's his fault. Yeah. The DJ who didn't go and look for the. Banging into, songs let, into, into is his fault. Let me just yeah, say, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, it's an ecosystem. Yeah, yeah, if we stop looking for the one bad guy, yeah. Yeah. no, yeah, let me yeah, just say that's yeah. the problem. Okay. We all want to be able to say that, so that it's this guy's fault. All right, hold on. Let me hear different influences. I say different. What I want to end with is me, Kojo, Sheldon, in our job that there is not every day show day. Kojo, I think one one event. Kojo works with the culture people a lot, and I've been trying to work with them. So one particular day, Kojo wasn't available. And I texted the guy. I was like, yo, as you say, Kojo, no day. Don't go look for nobody else. Like, I'm around. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm pushing. Yeah. I'm pushing so that me too. Because the culture people have the, the, the gateway to the foreign. And <laughs> if they like me today. Ah, foreign <laughs> champion. <right? laughs> if, if they like me today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just day under Kojo. But, you understand? And I'm young, you know, like, you I'm younger than Kojo. Wow. And Kojo, Kojo has been putting wow. me on. <laughs> Your successor. You know? Your successor. Yeah. You understand? Kojo has been putting Your me on. Your mom made people know that, bro. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> young, young at heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kojo has been putting me on, you know, but the ones he can do, he does. The ones he can't, like, they don't know me from anywhere. So why should they put me on? I, I don't know your music from anywhere. Why should I? Why should you I? Know, you're not going you know, to be for some. Lenny, <laughs> can you be the for some in know, my ears? All this after the future of the hype. Yeah. 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 The future. Hype manship question has been hanging. Let's just talk about yeah, thousand years after the question has been hanging. What is the yeah, what, the, the, what exactly <laughs> I want to know yeah. is what their thoughts are on the future of hype manship, especially in Ghana. Because also, Big Wu made reference to seeing about 500,000 hype men, you know, outside and all of that. So, yeah. what's the future looking like for um, hype manship in Ghana? Yeah, I, I, think, I, I, think, I think for me, for me is, is about letting people understand the value of the hype man. Because um, like we're all saying, it's, it's a business. And you cannot have a successful business or successful returns or value for something if people are not seeing the value of that thing. So for me, I'm doing it in my own way. I know Sheldon has been pushing this agenda also, also for a while, where we need to let people understand that a hype man is not a line of work you do when school no go well. Mm. Do you know? It's not because we have that same perception about doing music. Yeah. It's like if you're an artist, then because the school and no go well. And all yeah, that. DJing and all of that. Now we have very educated people that decide that this is what I want to do. 
we need to learn, and, and this is for my other hype men. Because if me, I'm doing it right, if Sheldon is doing it, and it's just us two doing it right, then it still, there, doesn't, change it still doesn't change anything because then we will be the odd ones out. So my advice is people need to learn how to work with brands. I think we, we are privy to that thing because we, worked, we came up from an agency and certain institutions where we were forced to understand how brands and go by go, some yeah, go by certain rules. But then for a lot of people, they just see it and it's like, oh, if you do this, that you get attention and go we'll pay you for them. And then you just go. People oh, really believe saying one, one time, one time is Our MC. time is up now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. On, on uh, the future of MC, uh, uh, hype man, I mean, um, with what's happening now, I, I like it. The conversations are going around. Yeah, um, that's good. People are putting hype men on blast mm -hmm. now. Their faces are all over the place. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm seeing it's, it's, it's going to get better. When we start, I mean, some of us have started charging by the R. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, oh, we've been we've so, been doing that. That yeah. conversation with the whole money and you know, all the, all of that will be fixed because now people are realizing it's an actual. Integral part of the whole nightlife, the events, everything mm -hmm. is very important. You can have an MC and then have an, a, a, a hype man. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's going to get crazy. It's, 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 yeah, because right now yeah. DJs too, they do their own songs, hype men they do their own songs, go yeah. cut out the musicians very Yeah, I have, a new, song. I have yeah. a new song coming out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I have my own event also coming up. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hey. Okay. All of that in well, April. Yeah, all of that. First, second week, April. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm really looking up for it. Yeah. Um. So for the future of this hype man stuff, um, I would say, yeah, for for when I came into the thing, they were doing great. You know, I just came to also understand where their vision was, and just align myself with it. And the the vision is still pushing. Like now, we are being recognized on like Global Citizen. You see Kojo Manuel turning up the place even more than Berna and stuff. Like, we are being recognized and being put in conversations that used to be, like, Wonderland. Like, ah, US for a yeah, big program. Yeah. Where I see, why are yeah. you looking for a, a hype, man? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's call KOD or somebody to come and just stand mm -hmm. there. You know, now now the, 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 the conversations are being held mm -hmm. about, okay, so which hype man we need? Yeah. How much would they allocate to one? I like that. Yeah, I see we're running out of time. Yeah, right? our time let is me, up. Let, let, let Harry, just, chip it in. Let, let me just add one or two seconds. things. So in my experience, like, yeah. thank, thank you for mentioning Global Citizen because I almost forgot. So then I realized, like, there's a problem. The problem is not, oh, who, which hype man should I get? In a lot of meetings, it's a conversation of do we need a hype man? Mm -hmm. Because people don't understand it. People don't understand the essence of it. And that's what I mean by people mm -hmm. understanding our value and what we do. So, in my way, I'm dropping a new song. It's called <laughs> Vibration. Vibration with St. Lennon of Lynx, a uh, new signee and DJ, okay. uh, who's also with Empower, Mr. Easy's artist. Uh, it's dropping on 6th of April. And uh, on 8th April, Two that days is after like, my birthday. <laughs> and Easter Saturday, I'm um, having my first <laughs> e e event. It's called Casa Loco. Casa Loco. Right. Casa Loco. Crazy is that, is that, is that, Yeah. An <laughs> avenue for hype men to yeah. tap in as well. Well, unfortunately, yeah, we've, we've eaten past our time, 11 minutes past our time. And, uh, well, uh, gentlemen, lady, thank you so very much, especially to you three. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here, giving us insights into this business. And we wish you all the best in it. And we are back here. Thank you, you for a great me. week. Um, <laughs> 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 hey, you yeah. said thank, right? <laughs> Thanks, every cuties. Don't forget. Have a good weekend.